Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to clean up RAM on your Mac. If the CPU is the brain of our computer that can run all the processes, then our RAM is the size of our work table of how many applications we can run at the same time. So I have 64 gigabytes of RAM on my MacBook right now, which makes it really easy to run applications like Chrome, Adobe, and much more simultaneously. And if you have less RAM, then your computer does slow down if you have a lot more things open. But in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to clean it up if you notice that you slow down a lot when you have things open. So the first thing we're going to do is to remove login items. So we're going to go down to settings, go to general, and then go to login items. So login items are applications that immediately open when you turn on your MacBook or your iMac, and that slows down your RAM significantly. So what I'm going to do is select this application right here, click the subtract button, and now that application will not open when I turn on my Mac, and that clears and saves a lot of RAM in the process. Step number two is to use a software called Clean My Mac X, which makes everything easy from clearing up RAM to system scans and so much more. So let's go ahead and open that up right now. So we're gonna head over to the maintenance tab on the left hand side, click view all tasks, click free up RAM and click run. And just like that, Clean My Mac X solved this issue with a click of a button. So I highly recommend this program. There's a download link in the description box below to start a free trial or to buy a full version. And this thing can do everything from freeing up RAM to so much more. So I highly recommend this program. So the third tip of the day is to actually free up disk space on our storage. So if we run out of room on our physical RAM, say for example, I fill up all 64 gigs of my RAM, then my computer will turn to something called virtual memory, which is the space, the virtual storage on my my SSD hard drive built into this computer. Now, if my hard drive is super filled up, that means I have very little virtual memory and then my computer will start to slow down. So here's how you can clear up some storage. We're gonna go to settings, general, and storage. And this is a beautiful breakdown of what's being stored on your computer from the documents to the pictures, your messages, your music. And then you can go ahead and click on any of these I information buttons and see all the files and how much space they take up. Go ahead and click on any one of these and hit delete. And then you start to save more storage space so that when you run out of RAM, you can tap into the virtual memory and your computer can still run smoothly. The fourth tip that I'm gonna get into is to actually just clean up your desktop. Your RAM is taking inventory of every single icon so that it's quickly accessible on your desktop. So if you look at my desktop right now, it looks absolutely terrible. All you got to do, simple click of the button, is right click on any blank space and click use stacks. And look at that. It's all clean. It got stacked into two little folders. And now your RAM is much more relieved that it doesn't have to load up all of those icons simultaneously. The next thing we're going to talk about is to tune up Google Chrome's task manager. Now I use Google Chrome all the time because it's very fast, but it eats up a lot of memory because each window window and tab that you have open is trying to maintain all these extensions and all these other things for each window. That's why it's so fast. So we're going to head into the application, go to this top right corner where you see these three dots, go to more tools, and then task manager. Now in this list, you're going to want to click GPU process and you're going to click end process. So GPU process makes it very easy to load up a lot of things. It just optimizes Google Chrome, but it does eat up a lot of memory on your device. So once you end that process, you save up a lot of room on your RAM, but your browser runs a little bit slower, but it's really not that big of a deal. So the second to last tip for today is to clean up your finder windows. And on my screen right now is a classic example of when I start to look for documents and files on all these random windows. And this takes up a lot of RAM because like a messy desktop, your RAM has to have all these windows so that everything is quickly accessible. So what we're going to do is merge all of them. We're going to go to window in the top left corner and then go down to merge all windows. And look at that. It's all seamless like a tab on an internet browser. It is so much better for your RAM when you do this. So the last tip for today is to just restart your Mac every once in a while. It's a sweeping function that you can do to restart everything from your CPU, GPU, and your RAM. It cleans out everything and jumps it right back up. Or you could just shut down your computer every once in a while, especially on a laptop. I have a bad habit of leaving it on or just closing it and making it go to sleep. But shutting down your computer every once in a while is very healthy for all the components of your computer. So go ahead and do that that if this is your last resort. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below, and I will see you in the next video.